So we use this place for all of our trailers. Previously, we would just use various places here and there to uh, build them. Now we use them all the time for our drones, for our drone trailers. So we've got two in the queue right now that they just started on. So uh, we're today at our custom trailer manufacturing place, taking a look at our drones that we've got being recorded. It's kind of loud, I hope that's picking up. But this is one of them that we've got going on here now. Uh, we've got two farms. We've got the Witham farm around Stuttgart. Then we got our clients, Art and Josh, that are having a trailer made. So I think this is one of them. And then I'm gonna walk you over to the other side where we've got the, um, uh, the Hagwoods, they're around Newport. So, come on. This is gonna be one of the drone ones? Yeah. Awesome. Good job. Yes, sir. I got two of them being made. 19 good. Uh, I thought they are 18. Yeah, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, I hope they're 18. Yeah. I'll take 19. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, good deal. Yeah, we're, we're kind of put on hold, we're waiting on metal. Oh, really? Yeah. How long is that gonna be? Supposed to be here in month. Oh, good, okay, all right. Good deal, well, they look great, guys. I appreciate it, thank y'all so much, thank y'all. So a lot of the trim we put on them can be like the diamond plate on them. And we can make these fully custom for whatever you want for your operation. A lot of the times the clients leave it in my hands to customize the little bits and pieces and all the little you know intricacies of it just from what I found in the field that works. So I'm taking pictures for one of our clients to be able to send them and let them see. Like I said, this is actually the Hagwoods trailer. They are a large farm in and around Newport, Arkansas. So they actually modified theirs a little bit. They've got a little bit wider stack in the front. They've got two doors, one, you know, the one on each side. So they can access the generator on the other side because I close these off and seal them and insulate them out for sound. They actually wanted the electronic jack system put on here in the front or lift so that they're able to have various, various people in the family. They talked about having their wives or whoever else come out and actually run the operation as well with them. So more people to get licensed, more people involved in the family. And that's really what we like seeing is that we've got our farm families get so involved in this that we don't just have one or two people get licensed to fly. We have sometimes the entire farm, the entire family. So um, they had that added on a little bit heavy dutier. Doors on both sides. This is a big thing that gets missed. Now, th this may not be the case anymore, but when I first started this, we had to have three layers of security. That may not be required anymore. That may have gotten phased out, but I still operate off that because I think if I stop and I've got my drones and I've got this full setup and everything, we need to have three layers of security. So we need to have three, way three ways that the drones are actually secured and make it as difficult as possible to be able to use these drones and take them and use them for say a you know a terrorist attack or something like that. So I, that's how I think of it when I build these trailers. Plus I think of the security and the storage and everything else, having a full wide open trailer is not a good thing in my opinion. Having a fully, fully closed off trailer is not a good idea in my opinion because I darn near had a heat stroke in the back of that box trailer I had the first year, that sucked. So this one's the best of both worlds. The back end is still open to where we can do direct loading. If we've got pre-mixed totes, we've got the front that's open or closed off so that we can put our generator in here, put our shelving, our drones, store them at night, secure them in, and we're good to go. We still have the second floor observation and plenty, the axles are plenty big enough for any amount of water we're gonna put on there. So this is the best of both worlds. This is a little, I'm gonna push on this door all day but it's best of both worlds to where it's still small and light enough to get into places, but you're not hamstringing yourself and having these big, huge 28, 34 foot trailers that you can't get to where drones are really shot at. And that's the big thing that I wanna drive home is that I don't want my clients to hamstring themselves and the drones, we can get in and get out where nobody else can. We can spray things that have never been sprayed before. This year we're busier than ever because people have figured out there's land that has never been sprayed by air we can spray it with drone sound. That's a huge thing. Um, so that's something that I try to walk the line with with our trailers is still make us as potent as possible, but still being small enough to get in and out of delicate areas. I mean, um, 
past spraying operations, especially like out in the forest, I had an, I had one where I had just a small ATV trailer, went in with a side-by-side, -side, had a generator, had a couple 55-gallon uh, drums, the mix, and the drone itself, and sprayed some cool areas for ticks. So that's just something you have to look at and plan for your operation. So this is, to me, like I said, the best of both worlds. It's open in the back. We can do pre-mixed totes, load those on here, close those back off, second floor observation, and then still have everything in the front closed off, insulated. So if your generator's too loud, close it off in there. You can even put an AC unit in there, cool everything down. And I've even got built-in drop downs for the battery chargers. So anyway, uh, but that is it guys. I will keep y'all updated on, like I said, this is the Hegwoods. We got two others coming out of the queue. You'll see a lot more content with it. You guys got any questions or anything about our content, about our trailers, about consulting, anything like that, shoot them our way. We'll be happy to answer them to you guys. This has been Jonathan with Southern Drone Off. Thank you.